business is the engine that keeps the world turning. It's the source of products, livelihoods, and opportunities. Hi, I'm Terry Bradshaw. Whether your focus is B2B or B2C, join me as we explore some of today's leading enterprises. Across all disciplines and sectors, organizations and people are embracing ways to live and to work in greater harmony with the environment. Let's take a closer look. The exploration and production of oil and gas creates various forms of waste that must be processed and disposed of. Unfortunately, there's a lack of infrastructure capable of processing and disposing of these waste streams efficiently. New technologies implemented during exploration and production of oil and natural gas, particularly horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing, have resulted in a dramatic increase in the volume of non-traditional waste byproducts for reuse or disposal. The most significant of these wastes include frac wastewater and flowback water, produced water, and oil-bearing drilling muds and cuttings. The primary challenge in disposing of solid waste in high solids content fluid is the lack of infrastructure capable of effectively and efficiently processing this material. This results in large quantities of the waste being trucked long distances to the few existing facilities capable of accepting the material. Petro Waste Environmental is an oil and gas services company that processes and disposes of waste from exploration and production. The company is unique in its ability to handle every form of oil and gas waste through an extensive network of facilities located close to drilling activity. Most of the competitors in our industry tend to focus only on one disposal method, whether that be saltwater disposal wells or waste disposal pits. Few of these competitors hit the middle ground of processing high solids content fluids. We here at Petro Waste will be focused on this area as well as offering saltwater disposal wells and landfills disposal pits. Petro Waste recently entered into an agreement with Piote Water Systems to construct reclamation facilities throughout South Texas and the Permian Basin. Petro also has multiple landfill permits. Petro Waste Environmental is planning an extensive network of waste processing and disposal facilities around saltwater disposal wells throughout the Eagle Ford Shale and Permian Basin. The goal is to locate our facilities within 30 miles of all drilling activity throughout each region in which we operate. By building waste processing plants next to saltwater disposal wells, Petro Waste is able to condense the amount of waste being trucked to disposal pits. This not only reduces hauling costs and trucks on the roads, it also results in much more waste being processed in the drilling area. Most of the fluid waste that's delivered to our facilities contains anywhere from 5 to 30 percent solids. The other 95 to 70 percent is either water or oil, and by pulling out the water and disposing of it on site in the saltwater disposal well, we're able to reduce the total volume of waste being trucked to solid waste disposal sites by somewhere between 5 and 30 percent. We can condense up to 20 truckloads of fluid waste into one truckload of solid waste. How waste is dealt with depends on the liquid content. Dry materials are transported to a Texas Railroad Commission approved landfill. Pumpable fluids are run over shaker screens and hydrocyclones to pull out the solids before being run through a centrifuge to pull out the fine solid particles. The solids are then sent to a disposal pit. The oil is sold and the water dumped in a saltwater disposal well. Both frack fluids and flowback waters can be sent to saltwater disposal wells or to permitted landfills. Drill cuttings, they can be handled on site or sent off site to a landfill as well. Petro waste systems have redundancy throughout to detect and prevent leaks at every stage. The biggest misconception about waste produced by the oil and gas industry is that the material is hazardous. In fact, oil and gas exploration and production waste has been studied extensively by industry and government scientists and is defined by federal law as non-hazardous waste. After processing, the residual fluids and solids are disposed of in authorized facilities in accordance with permits issued by government environmental agencies. The oil and gas waste processing industry has progressed significantly in recent times. Going forward, we anticipate a higher level of engineering standards in facility design in the construction of more institutional quality facilities, as environmental stewardship is more of a focus for our industry today than ever before.